your story, my story. The Story of Christ on Mango Mornings. And it is already 7.54 in the morning. You're still listening to Mango Mornings. My name is Bernie together with Aya and Pastor JB. And we were just slightly a bit nostalgic earlier as we recalled some of the most important moments in our lives. Now, yeah, pag wala na ganigay ka ng mga isipong lain, <laughs> magkuha na ka, mag-remember din ka sa mga kagahapon. Maghinumdom. Maghinumdom. Apan lang, kay kanina itong guest ka ron, lahat mga tiyang ipa-remember sa ako. <laughs> Basta, kami na lang to. <laughs> Pero friends, you know, it's good to remember definitely. And in fact, all over scripture, even in sa, sa Old Testament, no, the Israelites were really commanded to remember what the Lord has done for them. Mm. And this is a way to perpetuate uh, th- for all posterity that the Lord is good. Amen. And to expound on that, because we definitely will talk about testimony and how we can definitely celebrate about the goodness of God, which of course we've heard from Phil Wickham earlier, no? Mm. Is of course the pastor of Crossroad City Church, UCCP, and uh, his name is Pastor Wenzel De Holde. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. And welcome again. Ooh. It's been good. a while, di ba pinanagod? Oo. Oh, <laughs> Dugay-dugay <laughs> yun. Kaya, na uh, mga moments that uh, you don't remember. <laughs> Nakalimot. <laughs> so, anyway, welcome back. Iba na ba na sa church? Can I, there, there's a welcome here. Oo, oh, naikanta. Uh, no. There's for, a welcome here. For lahi, sad pong, kanang may nibalik gani kay mga returnee. There's a welcome back. There's no. a welcome back. So, para sa iba, Pastor, there's a welcome back. <laughs> so, atong question ko, Pastor, no? how does God's goodness lead us to celebrate? There's no other way. Oh. There's no other way to... to uh, the, the, the trajectory of remembering the goodness of God mm. will always lead to celebration. Mm. Wow. Kay... Except if you are not a child of God, of Can course. Uh, the context is that you were once, according to the description of Paul in his letter to the Christians in Ephesus, you were once dead, mm. once sons and daughters of disobedience. Yes. You follow your your um, fleshly desires yeah, under the control of the prince of the air. Mm. Now, if that is the context of your life before there is nothing good in Paul's words that dwells in me so bisa kun saon yo paning kamot nothing good dwells in me what gidi ai bisan oga mag effort na ka you invest all your resources your mm-hmm. energy everything that you have you invest it there's nothing good that comes out of it mm-hmm. now ang transition mo about sa imong kinabuhi and you become a child of God, remembering then the bad moments mm. in contrast with the goodness of God, the trajectory is to worship and to celebrate. There's no yeah. other way Amen. but to celebrate the goodness of God. Mm. Kanindot ni Ana, buganay ng Israel, you were, you were sharing earlier that uh, as they journey in their life according to the direction of the Lord he Yahweh will always put a remembrance sa ilang journey na yung mga bato tagdo sira ba kabuok sakto ba kag ilang ihap no <laughs> manguha din sila dito ilalom asa to dapit nila panguha ah, pamutang dito that is a way of uh, giving them an account every time though they pass to that area Remember what God has done to you. Mm-mm. You were this before. You were slaves in mm. Egypt. You were once this. Murag kita po, si Paul, sa mga Christians in Epheso, si Paul ingon siya, you were this before. Yeah. Now you are a child. Mm. You were once a son of disobedience. Now you are a child. Kanindot ba, no? Mm. Mm. O, ingon siguro nga, you were once a child of nobody, an orphan. Now you are a son of God, a daughter of God, not an appointed one. 
but <laughs> a, a son, a child of God. Uy, kanindot, ana. No? O, okay, mahimo mang kang ah, sakop na sa pamilya. Dili yes. lang ka-employed. No? Kay kung appointed lang ka, na special arrangement. Yeah. Oo. Pero kung anak yun ka, ay kanindot ba? Mm-mm. Kay mahimo yung kang part sa family. Yes. I remember, kay remembering man lagi, no? <laughs> <laughs> remembering my own experience sa uh, childhood growing up. We had at least 10 working students. Mm. And think about having 10 working students with only one child. Mm. Yeah, mm. ko sa scheduling. Mm. Oh, appeal ko sa rotation, sa mga tasks, sa balay, together with the working students. Mm. Ngayon ko sa kong mama, kung sila masayop, di ka masuko. Uh. Kung ako masayop, may kusi. <laughs> <laughs> kung, kung sila mapalpak sa task, mm. no appreciation, no punishment. Mm. Kung mapalpak ko sa task with all the litany of everything. Okay. <laughs> Oo. <laughs> and the only thing my my mother will 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 tell me because you are my son. Mm. Di man sila akong anak. Mm. I care for them as a working student but I don't really care for them as a child. Mm. Mm. Lahi ang status lahi, lahi mong status Uh-oh. now that gives us the only trajectory but to praise God mm-hmm. kay bitaw no di maday ko adapted <laughs> di maday ko simply just having an appointment here Mm-mm. like kini mga working students mm-hmm. I am a child by blood mm-hmm. and in in the family of God we are a child of God by blood in Jesus. Ipakamat yan, manta. Dugo ba ni Kristo yun, no? And therefore, that gives us the, the, the only direction to celebrate. There's yeah. nothing else but to celebrate. How, what mag mga nakita na ko, no? Except as the scripture tells us in Isaiah 63 verse 7, mm. in my version, I will recount the steadfast love of the Lord. Kung sa paiyang gihimo, the praises of the Lord, mm. according to all, na, pag iunig, according to all, remembering na, mm-hmm. na, remembering, according to all that the Lord has granted, and a lot of things that God has granted to Isaiah, to Israel, the chosen people, a lot of things amidst their difficulty, amidst their, their defeat, defeat in the battle, amidst their kininiang Paking alliance nila with political power of the earth amidst their <laughs> kininiang daog mo po sila. Uh-huh. But everything, ingon si, ingon si Isaiah, there are things that is according to. Mm-hmm. According to all that the Lord has granted to us. Mm-hmm. And the great goodness of the house of Israel that He has granted them. Now, mm-hmm. ang first phrase, God. Mm-mm. Now, ang second phrase is on God through mm. through Israel. Again, ang iyang point of reference according still to the source. Mm-mm. According to the compassion of the Lord, according to the abundance of His steadfast love. Mm-mm. There is no other point of direction. The trajectory of remembering is to thank God to celebrate kana mag celebrate para karon ng kadayawan mm-hmm. no the only the only focus of our investment and time is to celebrate mm-hmm. ingana man ang, ang kadayawan gikas kada adlaw nay mga cause sa traffic na cause sa kanang crowd gathering mm-hmm. of the crowd na ay mga programs and a lot of activities what is that that is basically to celebrate mm-hmm. what are we to celebrate for a lot of the abundance that Dabao is experiencing for many years. Mm. So, ang, ang kining ni ang worship, kining ni ang celebration is the only trajectory as we remember the goodness of God Mm-mm. in comparison to our 
previous life. Mm. Amen. Beautiful. Yes, that's true. Uh, but sometimes, Pastor, sa ato ang kinabuhi ba, dili may iwasan niya na ay mga uh, tragedy mm. and not worthy of celebrating ang mga moments mm-hmm. in life. And it's hard to uh, praise God in those moments na wala may reason to celebrate kay namatyan ko or mm. na tanggal ko sa trabaho. <laughs> mm. How do we reframe that so that uh, we will still remain faithful in recounting God's goodness in our lives? How it, do we see goodness? It depends on what lens are you using mm. as you look at events and scenarios in life. Mm. Pero kung basihan ni mo ang John um, I think 15 mm. If you are in the context of John 15, mm. that God is the main branch and, and the, you are, I know God is the, the vine, vine yes. and you mm. are the, the branch. Yes. Mm. Ingon si John, na ay panahon nga ang branch, wala na munga, mm. na munga, nagagbunga, mm. perting daghan nagbunga. Mm. Sa Pag kung imuntunan, katong panahon nga wala ka na munga, apil yapon ka sa branch. Oo. Wala lang ka na munga. Mm. And the Lord will do something. Mm-mm. Ingon man dito, I will lift you up. Or ang ibang version ingon, I will cut you out. No? Mm. Putlon ta ka. Ang common interpretation, tanggalon ta. Mm. If that is the lens that we look no, that, that we use as we look the event. So, ko tas gino, oh. mm. tanggal ko si Lord. Kini si Lord God. Mm. He say, wrathful God. Well, He is a wrathful God. Mm. But, in the context that you are a child of God, He will lift you up. Ganahan ko itong version. Mm. Kanang He will lift you up. Tanggalon ka, dili from the vine. Mm. Tanggalon ka gikan sa sala. Mm-hmm. So, ka, nindot ang iyang perspective Now, if that is the perspective The lens that you will use In looking at your context Natanggal ka sa trabaho mm-hmm. Nga naman Gitanggal ka Kay naay dito sa la oh. mm-hmm. That he wants you to be free from mm-hmm. So you bear fruit Yes So you bear fruit Oh Lord, thank you mm-hmm. Wada ikunin mo pa sa agdi mm-hmm. Wa madayon ang imong biyahe na biyaan ka. Mm. Himan-himan ang naguna may nahitabo. Mm. Wala ka nagpasalamat nga sila na aksidente. Mm. Na biyaan ka, Lord, thank you. He spared you. Kay imo de ay kong gilain. Mm. He spared ko nimo. Mm. No? There are a lot of instances. Just look at life events mm. from John 15. That he wanted to lift you up. He wanted to take you away from sinful context. Mm. Clean you. Kaya niyo man dito ang sunod niya verse. Ako kang hinluan sa akong mga pulong. Mm. Ana! No? Pag, pag lift sa imo, gikan sa hugaw, mm. hinluan ka sa mga pulong sa Dios. And then, you will bear fruit. Mm the lifting from sin or shall we say the discipline kay kita maginikanan pod mabaya no kanang balik ko sa akong remembering ano na ko si gugu adto no kasi ama udi ay na ko si ko kay nasaa gwa mamao ang akong gihimo because my mom loves me so much she doesn't want me to engage again into that wrong decision. Mm-hmm. Remembering, malatos yung ko. Mm-hmm. Mas kusian na po ko. Mm-hmm. And so, iya de itong nagihi mo, aron dito mausab. Right. So, gilift ko, gitanggal ko dito. Eventually, I will. it will become a learning moment sa ako. Hindi na mahimo, and then will bear fruit again. Mm. Discipline, events, mga natanggal sa trabaho, whatever is the events, including sickness, according to um, Bruce Wilkinson, mm. including sickness, are sometimes God's chastening. Mm-mm. So we will bear 
fruit. Yeah. And then when we remember that God loves us so much, so He chastens us, mm. the only trajectory again is to praise the Lord. Mm-mm. Lord, mm. thank you. Kaya wag yun ako ni mo pasagdi. And that requires time, Pastor. From Amen. the point na you are brought in that situation, of course, initially you will react negatively. Na hey, yes. Ganun yung mani. I'm confused. But you have to wait for that uh, part. Uh, ano ba? Temporary time. Yes. To finish, so that you will see the bigger picture. Nga, ah, okay, mo ni ang gihi mo sa gino mm-hmm. He brought me out of that situation. Kaya na isala dito. I might be contaminated, mm-hmm. or he spared me from that situation because it will bring me to danger. But another uh, perspective is, sa life ni Job, mm-hmm. na he's righteous, he's walking in righteousness, and he knows that by heart. I mean, he's a witness of his own life. No, mm-hmm. na wala ju ko isala sa gino gihi mo ba? Contrary to the Uh, accusations of his friends. Na, mm-hmm. na masig na kay Gehimo sa Ginoo na yan. So, wala jud wala. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there are moments like that na itesta sa Ginoo, idiscipline ta sa Ginoo for the sake of uh, refining us. Mm-hmm. But of course, again, in timeline, mm-hmm. since na ata sa katong micro moment, dili na to makita on sa purpose sa Ginoo. Mm-hmm. Correct, correct. How do we praise him? <laughs> oh. Sa so, mga micro that, moment. Mm-hmm. Actually, ano eh, naka zoom in kay kung ano? kung mm-hmm. ang atong built in na, no? Kana bang culture na nimo. Mm. You always you you will always be praising God if mm. it is already part of your system. Mm. I witness one one instance in my ministry life. There was this 12 year old son, the only son. Mm-hmm. Nagka taas ang iyang blood sugar which causes his death. Mm. Namatay at 12 years old. Mm-mm. Di ako po, siyempre, pastor, sa, sa Tana Church, immediately, upon knowing na, na, na nag-emergency, nag yan to ko sa emergency room. Mm-hmm. Pagkabot na ako may pag-declare nga, your son passed away. Na, sa hospital mo yung mag-expired ang term, no? Uh-huh. Murag kuan, mura o gagatas <laughs> na na-expiration. <laughs> pagkaon. <laughs> no, pagkaon. Your son expired. Mm-hmm. The initial response of the mother, praise God, God kaayo. Kaya ano? Niyon regid siya. The Lord giveth, mm. the Lord taketh. Mm. Praise be His name. Of course, she was crying. Mm-mm. Of course, she was in pain. But kay culture man lagi, mm. it has become part of her life. Right. And so this mother was saying, "The Lord giveth, the Lord taketh." Mm-mm. He's yours, Lord. Mm. Thank you for 12 years. Mm-mm. But I will definitely miss my son. Mm. Mm. Wow. Grabe ngon ko. Ako ang na-minister mm. yeah. uh-uh. sa strength, sa faith, sa usa ka mama. And that mother is a simple child of God. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. She goes to church, attend Sunday school, mm. serve as one of the leaders of the church. Very simple. And at that moment when there was pain in life, painful man mm-hmm. naman yan ka. Uy, uh-huh. unya, at, right at the moment when expiration was declared, faith was also declared. Mm-hmm. Amen. The Lord taketh, the Lord giveth. Mm-hmm. Praise be His name. Yeah. Now, how, again, if it is already a system, mm-hmm. That you always praise God in whatever circumstance, you can always praise Him. Mm. How again? Balik ko na to. Si Paul ingon siya. Make it a constant uh, part of your life to be thankful at all time, yes. whatever is the circumstances. Mm-mm. In everything. In like everything. everything. Whether you are in beautiful moments, Mm-mm. in a painful moments, maybe in a confusing moments. Mm. Salamat sa Gino. Mm. na ay illustration ana mm. mm. na adaw carpenter yano ra po dya nag repair siya invite siya sa silingan mag repair o gutter mm. sa balay mm-hmm. unya dili man siya professional nga worker so yang isandig ang ladder wala siya yung mga gamit nga daghan nagdala siya gunting mm. dala siya glansang mm. di naman siya kahawid sa ladder paak niya ang lansang Butang mm. <laughs> niya ang gunting mm. Ang martilyo sa pikas mm. Sa bulsa mm. O ng saka 
without checking the strength of the ladder in the middle na guba mm. ah. na putol na bali ang tikanganan ah. ang 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 pak niya kaduha katulo niya dito sa sa katulo na na ana ah. no sangit ang iyang in between sa iyang leg because he is accustomed to praising God mm. ang iyang <laughs> pulong dito praise the Lord thank you <laughs> Ang silingan niya nagpatrabaho, kasabot. Oh. Because he is not accustomed to it. Ang iya, mm. daling malitok ka itong mga... Pamalikas. Mm. Oo, oh, pamalikas. Kining isa po niya, nahulog, praise the Lord, thank you. Hana siya. Hindi <laughs> siya kasabot itong namalikas. Nasakitan siya, Pas. Sakitan siya. Kaya naipit good ang iyang in-between, no? <laughs> oh, naipit good. Pati yung sakita. <laughs> Pero ang iyang nalitok, praise the Lord. Oh. So, nangutaan na itong nagpatrabaho. Why that in the moment of pain and almost uh, death, can hulo good ka, oh. you still praise the Lord. Mm. Ingon dayon siya, may gani kay lansang akong ipaak, may akong natulon. <laughs> <laughs> Dili ang <Martin> gunting, <laughs> kay kung ang gunting akong ipaak, may akong matulon. Praise God, <laughs> lansang ragyod ng akong natulon. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> well, it's a joke. It's an illustration at the same time mm. that tells us if you are accustomed to praising God, even in sad, difficult, painful moment, mm. the first word that comes to your mouth is to praise Him. Mm. Pero kung dili ni mo kultura, ang unsay puno sa imong kasing-kasing, Mooy mo gawas. So how? Fill yourself with praises. Fill yourself. Mo nang ningon diri si Isaiah. Keep on remembering. Ayaw pagka Alzheimer sa mga kaayo sa Ginoo. Because how are you going to praise him if you are not filled with his goodness? Because naturally, the goodness of the Lord will also come out your mouth. That is basically what is filling your heart. So beautiful. It's a lifestyle. Yes. It's a culture, kingdom culture that is. And I like how you focused on the source, which Isaiah did. No, the Lord is the source of all these negative things for all of us. But from Him, it's actually all positive because He doesn't want us to be. Uh, put into harm or mm. dangerous situation. So, mm. para sa ato, lahi ato ang lens yun, Pastor, no? Mm-hmm. And then, if we see it from the lens of God, then we will see na He has a better purpose. Mm-hmm. Yes. The best uh, intention for all of us, yes. actually. And that leads us to pray. So, that goes back to um, reframing, talaga. Mm-hmm. Na God has a purpose for this. That's why I praise Him. Yes. Maybe I uh, dili na ako makita karon. Mm. Negative ako ang panglantaw. Mm. So maybe we should pray na Lord help me to see what you are trying to do so that I can praise you. Yes. Bisag sakit, bisag lisod, bisag gula ako kasabot. Mm-hmm. No. Na ipanahon yeah. niya sakit akong ulo. Mm. Reklamo na ko sa sakit sa akong ulo. One time niyon ang akong kauban sa church. Nagpa-check up kasi mo mata. Mm. Um, wala ra ba? Pa-check up sa Mm. So nga kong glasses kita naaw. Sa pastor kinahanglan na mag-change sa lens. Ma- oh. mm. Sometimes we use a lens that will not facilitate seeing yeah. God's goodness. Mm. So kay doubt pa nimong lens. Sakit naturally ulo. sakit imong ulo. Hindi ka ka focus. Ni pasangin lang nimong na kay vertigo, <laughs> numar na kag bisag unsa na lang. Uh-huh. But only to find out na ang imong lens actually needs to be changed uh-huh. and updated. Mm. So you change your lens so you mm. can see the goodness of the Lord mm. in looking at all events in life. All. Huwag ginay pili. Caps lock. Ah. All. All. Pastor, in your life, uh, from that, no? Mm-hmm. Coming from that, changing your lens, for sure there have been tough times for you as a pastor. What are those memorial stones or maybe just one memor- memorial stone that you return to when it gets difficult? It's always the Word of God. Mm. Always the Word of God. Um, I always remember, especially katong, na may mga dili siya memory verse, 
pero mga memorial verses. Mm. Oh, what, the, the difference yun na siya. Mem- memory verse, you keep on memorizing it sa mga gathering. No? Uh-huh. Pero na ako yung mga memorial verses mm. in every nodes of my journey. Mm. Kanang sa buko sa kawayan Mm-mm. na ato mga journey, na buko sa atong journey. There are important uh, verses sa buko sa kasaysayan sa kinabuhi. Nay, mura man naugkuan kana ganing gap nod sa kinabuhi. Lahi <laughs> pud na. Naglutaw man adong. <laughs> so, buko sa kawayan. It's it's actually the word of God. Yeah. The time that uh, was so difficult, for instance, I was assigned in this church, UCCP Crossroads sometime in 2008. Nako remembering, basta remembering dugay na ba. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 2008 as an associate pastor nagabot mi anak ni Bern oh. dito sila namo na, na himamat oh. as our music team mm. dili pa to music team no? Oh, mo na gito no? music team na oh, oh. sa old so, church sa old church sa yes, obos sa building it was at the context of construction mm. of the physical sc- structure and um uh, Transition came, I became the senior pastor, the executive pastor at first, mm. then was changed to senior pastor. The transition was in untong pastoral committee, kaya na may mga interview. Yeah. You are the associate pastor, one of the, you only have a bachelor's degree. Only have? Kalooy. Mm. You only have a bachelor's degree. <laughs> Ang imong pulihan PhD. Gana, you know? Doctor. Internationally known person. Yeah, writer, publisher. Writer. Gana ka ito. Which, which is true man po, no? Di man po to. <laughs> di man to ko ano himo him. Tinuod man po. Nya gitapad ko nga wa gigwi libro na sulat. Tinuod man po. Eh bachelor's degree. Tinuod man po. Wala koy master's degree. Tinuod man po. So, all the descriptions were true. And so with that we want to tell you how are you going to handle the challenges ahead mm. transitions mm. in color dinuod bitaw no <laughs> sao man ako big mongita tag memorials you ask the scripture mm. lord taga igog ko og imong pulong should i accept this this is a big challenge a big shoes ana mura kog si pedo dido ana <laughs> Mamantay sa sikat kayo nga karakter sa una. Ako <laughs> kayo nga shoes. Very big expectation. Mm. And here comes I am. Only this. The scripture tells me, I chose you. Mm. Mm. I chose you. You are my son. Mm. Anahin ko Lord, sa ito padigil ko ni Mapatrason. <laughs> Gani. Eventually, the journey proceeds continuous so again kung mga stones usahay natin mga literal no but Sana. for me scriptures hmm. they were words of the lord that hmm. affirms i am in the right journey hmm. Hmm. amen dagan pa hindi hmm. na lang kay taas man ang remembering <laughs> <laughs> taas na siya hmm. and in do na yung mga latest nga mga scriptures like when I had this experience of the was declared by one of the sessions as persona non grata. Yeah. Oh, na may bago si Luca gi declare persona non grata no? uh, <laughs> sa mga cities, sa La Union and others. Yeah, ni siya nganong unsa akong sayop nganong gi declare ko. Ah sige lang makasabot ra ka Luke. <laughs> no? When that particular event in life came, of course physically Sakitan juga. Mm. Oh. Um, but eventually, as time goes on, you will understand. Ah, okay, Lord. Looking back, there were already warnings. There were already instruments that you already gave mm. along the way. About ka sa punto that you will become a bubble. Two years before the declaration of Persona and Grata, I had a dream kita ko bubble ug ipreak ing nagkamata ko hala lord mo ako nang turno mantay na ko bubble man to oh. but 2 years after 
that turned out to be you will become a nobody. Mm. So na hinum duman, remembering, so na hinum duman, ah okay Lord, you already gave me a warning two years ago. Mm. I will become a nobody. Mm. Kung mahinom duman ni mo, mawala ng imong pain. Mm. Because ang trajectory is you worship the Lord. Thank you Lord. Yes. I'm a nobody because you want me to be your instrument to carry you as somebody. Mm-hmm. Kay kung somebody ka, si God di man makitaan. Yeah. Kung nobody ka and you keep on preaching, you continue to tell the truth, you continue to proclaim the gospel, ang makita ang iyong goodness. Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen. That's why the only trajectory of all these events, if you remember, His hands behind even sad moments is to praise the Lord. Amen. Pero pas, I remember during that time because I was there. And, um, kung ito, nahi mo gitong struggle, mm. I remember. But, even though um, you had to leave, Mm-mm. definitely, but God led you somewhere else mm. wherein He equipped you, basically. Yes to give you more exposure and experience mm-hmm. to do more uh, for the kingdom. Amen. Yun. And na ana ko nga, wow, gihawa si pastor dito pero gidala mo siya sa more else na we're in mas na expand ang yung horizon. Da mm-hmm. <laughs> amaze ko ako nga Lord. Galihok gid ka gyapon sa kina boy ni Pastor Wenzel. Amen. Amen. And um, right now you're back. Mm-hmm. And you were vindicated. Hallelujah. <laughs> the word did not came from me. No. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you were vindicated. He was able to come back, but through a different channel. Yes. Na dili na siya kanang part sa katong usual. But in a very special circumstance, wherein gigamit lang kagyapon sa ginoo. In a very unique way. Yes, mm. yes. So, kung ato i lang katong scripture from Isaiah 63:7 that the Lord has granted according to His compassion and according to His steadfast love. Can you imagine ang beginning ng seven steadfast love, ang ending ng steadfast love? Mm. So, pas, ano ko nga, muraog. <laughs> It's really a cause of celebration even for you. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. Yes. Diba? Steadfast mm. love ni God na dito. Because even though, no, Namura o, ano ba, mat, gamit ng term sa Bisaya, butang-butangan. Mm-hmm. Okay. Pero still, God vindicated you and He brought you back. Hallelujah. Sa katungungan na kung ito nila. <laughs> anyway. It's just a matter of time, John. Now, yes, yes. In the situation, we wait for the Lord patiently and yeah. He will do what He intends to do. Ooh, and we yeah. will see that later on. And siya ang makikuan. The what's a glory. Yes. Monang, balikan na ito. All the source should is Yahweh. Yes. Sa kining isa ka version niya akong ginagamit. Ah. Uh, I will mention the loyal love of Yahweh. Mm. Wagid na siya mo ilog kay loyal go no. The praises of Yahweh according to all that Yahweh has done for us, mm. for you. According to. Mm. Mm. According yun na siya. Mm-hmm. Now, again the reference is Yahweh, mm. God. And the greatness of goodness, no greatness of goodness of the house of Israel that he has, again, Yahweh, done to them according to his mercy mm. and abundance of his, balik na pod, loyal love. Mm. So whatever that takes place in our life, whether it is painful for the moment, but as you move forward patiently, Wait for his explanation. Si Job wala siya mahulat explanation. Siya, Lord, grab you, man. You know. <laughs> Show to me, di ba? Siya? Tubag raman siya ni Lord. Were you there when I created the foundations of the earth? Were you there when I, when I, when I? Were you there, Job? Ingon si Job. It's enough <laughs> that I have seen, that my eyes have seen the Lord. Hmm. Wala wala explanation kasi God wa po nag-explain what why why it happened to him. Hmm. Para kang Job 
it's enough that mine eyes have seen the Lord. Amen. So, sometimes there are painful moments that does not need any explanation at all. Mm. Like Job. Mm. But, sa akong experience, try to change your lens and look at events from His lens yeah. and you will see His hands across all the events and the only trajectory is to celebrate His goodness. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, Pastor Wenzel Di Holde of UCCP Crossroads. Please invite our listeners, Pastor, nga mag-attend sa church kung asa ka naga pastor. Yes, uh, sa UCCP Crossroads, there is an ongoing uh, discipleship sessions with Dr. Newman. Uh, this is leading towards, if you finish eight courses with the diploma degree. Mm. Yes, a diploma in biblical studies. And uh, if you are able to proceed and finish additional 12 subjects, making it 20, then you are given a, a granted a degree in associate in biblical studies. Wow. That's being done every third week at UCCP Crossroads this time with Dr. Willis Newman. Mm. So if you are interested, contact Pastor Wenzel. Uh, siguro kung mga yung mo uh, number uh, ihatag pa na kung number din nila siguro inquire from Mango Radio uh, uh-huh. they will give you the, my number so you can connect to me there's an ongoing worship service at 7 o'clock para sa mga Cebuano speaking or those gusto nga mga laag dayon pagkahuman o simba you can come and join at 7 o'clock and uh, we have Sunday school at 10 oh, at 9 o'clock we have another service at 10 o'clock that's English service for for those who love to worship in English language for those who love in a noisy praise contemporary Tagalog Bisaya nga simba mm. 3.30 join us yes you are Wala welcome Indonesia, Indonesia no? Ang Indonesian to anak yod sa bahasa sa ilang center. Ah, ah okay. Oo. Ang nimpuli ang uh, IP. Ah. Oo. Okay. Every Sunday at uh, 1.30, I think, they gather mm. at the mezzanine of the church. And if you are a, an IP coming from Marilog or wherever from Davao region and you're looking for a church, join mm. the IP worship with the Reverend Rudy Mandi. Uh, mm. Dato Bago Awardi. Wow. He's the organizer of that uh, gathering. And it is for all the IP uh, brothers and sisters, regardless if, what, if you are a Catholic or an Evangelical, a Pentecostal, a Foursquare, whatever denomination or church you are. Mm. The IP worship is gathered at UCCP 130 Mezzanine. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Pastor Wenzel, once again for your time, UCCP Crossroads. And before we go, hi lang sa atan ng mga nag-drop uh, sa ilahang comments sa YouTube. Mm-hmm. Hello to Granny Christy. Sabi niya, sorry, na late daw kay nagpa-laboratory pa daw siya. Ah, uh, ma Si Cherry Win, mm-hmm. nagpaminaw ka ron. Salamat kaayo. To my mom and all the members of Sodium City Church, good morning. Charlene Orong, good morning to you. And Jonathan Santino, maayong bundag. Mm-hmm. And... Ba? Uh, so far, wala na. Oi, Cherry, good morning. The Anyada of Davao and also to Susan yes, of Zamboanga. Thank you, Enjo, Mandam, even. No? Thank you so much for listening. Yes. And uh, yeah. Also, th- shout out to Karen, Ethan, and Kiana. Mm. Hello, good morning. Well, friends, that's our time for today. Paspas kayong oras, no? We are sad Man-ching. to say goodbye. But we hope to see you again tomorrow, God willing, at the same time, 7 in the morning here on Mango Mornings. Just a reminder to all of us, let's be thankful to God in every situation that we are in because He has a different lens in looking at things and He's our Creator. So, Siya po ang nagbuot o nagtakda sa ito kinabuhi. That's why there's no reason for us to trust, not trust Him and uh, depend on him fully but uh, well the remedy for confusion or anxiety or fear is really to praise god and trust that he is in control of the situation 
let's make it a habit sama sa encouragement ni Pastor Wenzel Kaganina. Let's make it a lifestyle na daigon ang ginoo sa tanang panahon sa ato ang kinabuhi. Amen. My name is Pastor JB. This is Aya. And I am Bernie. Saying goodbye for now and God bless you. This is Mango Mornings on Mango Radio. We are communicating, communicating the, the love, love of God. God. Bye.